Welcome back everybody to the Madden 07 Albuquerque Vipers franchise. Last week we went to Baltimore and we bullied the Ravens winning 37 to 10 showing off yes we are still the defending Super Bowl champions. Today we finally have our home opener and it is coming against the Arizona Patriots. Why do I call them that? Well, for one, their quarterback is Tom Brady who is coming off his worst career game where he threw just one touchdown to six interceptions against the Seattle Seahawks giving him their first loss. But I don't just call them that because they got Tom Brady on the roster. Their best receiver on the team as you're about to see is Dion Branch. Oh, and to just add on to things, their head coach, uh, you may have heard of them. It's Bill Belichick in his second season coaching there. So yeah, Arizona, you know, they're just taking everything from the Patriots. The Patriots are still pretty good as they have Peyton Manning under center up north there. But uh, yeah, we got Tom Brady inside the division now. And unfortunately, it's not going to be an Orlando Cross versus Tom Brady matchup. Hopefully we're going to get that twice next year though. Because of course, Orlando Cross out for the season in the preseason in case you somehow missed it or something. But uh, we have a big divisional game now against the Arizona Cardinals. The winner of this game will take first place in the NFC West. They are 4-1. and one. They already have had their bye week. Albuquerque 4-2. and two. Their bye is next week. So whoever wins this game will be first in the division. Seattle is uh, going to be a pretty good team. Though I believe they're sitting at 3-3 three and three currently. They, you know, they kind of got off to a little bit of a shaky start, but it looks like they're bouncing back. The Vipers are going to start off today's game here with the football. Cynical Wallace is going to move to his right, and he's going to pick up the first down on the first play of the game as he runs for it. Phil Van Dyke is going to get the first carry now, and he's going to take it right up the gut for a nice gain of over 10 yards. Cadillac getting his first run of the game, and he picks up 3 yards. Quickly trying to throw, we were trying to set up the screen for Charles Phillips, but the defense got to Wallace. Now on third down, Wallace has got a wide open running lane across the 30-yard line, knocked down about, at about the 24. Play fake for Williams, now Wallace is rolling to his right, he's going to throw for Larry Fitzgerald, who's going to bring that one in for the Vipers touchdown, pretty effortlessly working downfield there, just a couple of chunk plays, We I don't think we went backwards at all, I think our worst play was uh, the incompletion. There we have a, good, a big uh, play to Larry Fitzgerald, one of the best receivers in the NFL, gaining another touchdown catch against his former team and doing a little bit of his own version of the Lambo Leap. So here are the Arizona Cardinals, a toss to the right for Julius Jones in his first season with the Cardinals after spending the first few years of his career in Dallas. He's going to run the football again, but he's going to lose some yards. No running back in here, so it's just all Tom Brady looking to throw, but instead he's going to go down as Antrell Wilson gets to him, and Arizona is going to go three and out. Here's Albuquerque back on the field already, running the football, gain of two on the play. Wallace is going to throw right side, and just an inaccurate pass looking for Fitzgerald. Now they're going to send the blitz, and Wallace sees it, fires over the middle to his tight end, and Alex Smith is going to help us convert. We're going to give it to Cadillac again, and once again, only two yards on the play. Now running the football with Tatum Bell running to the right side, and he's lucky if he even got back to the line of scrimmage. Once again, Arizona's going to send the all-out blitz. Wallace tried to do the same thing that he did last time, but he's off the mark for Charles Phillips. But we are in field goal range for John Hall. This kick is from 51 yards out. It is up. It is good. And Albuquerque is now enjoying a 10-point lead. Jones on the draw play he goes up the gut and picks up nine and a half yards. On second and short, Brady's going to throw over the middle. He connects with his former teammate up in New England, Dion Branch, for the first down. A toss to the left here for Jones who gets one nice block, spins away from another on a fender. Down the left sideline, he is gone. Touchdown Arizona Cardinals as they get on the board here. A big run from Julius Jones. I believe he's like 29 or 30 years old now, which is a little bit old for a running back. But uh, he had a great run there. He just spun. Wade Schmidt didn't know what to do on that play as he got spun around. And that's going to give Arizona, a not a lead, but they're only going to be down by three points. First play of the, this next drive here, we connect with Larry Fitzgerald. The next play, though, not so great as Wallace throws an inaccurate, inaccurate pass off his back foot. And another inaccurate throw as it's almost intercepted. 
The Vipers are now faced with a third down. And Wallace keeps backing up. You got to do something there. You got to step up in the pocket. You can't just step back and back and lose 16 yards on a sack. I think he was trying to get rid of it at the last second there, but instead he gets walloped. And we're going to give the football back to Arizona. So after a holding penalty, I believe it was, it's going to be first and 15, and they're going to lose some yards there. Brady's going to throw to the right side. He connects with his man Johnson. He's going to pick up about a yard or two, and Brady stays on the ground. Looks like he may have hurt his ankle, and he's going to have to limp out of the ball game. Third and 16, rookie quarterback Daryl Wyatt is in the game. He's going to connect with Franklin on the right side, but he's going to be well shy of the sticks, and Arizona's going to go three and out. The Vipers looking to extend their lead now. Here's a screen for Charles Phillips across the 50-yard line. Stiff arming a man, and he gets pushed out of bounds. Tatum Bell now running to the right side, spins back inside, and picks up about five or six yards on the play. And he's slow to get up now, grabbing at his leg, and now he's going to have to check out of the game. Second and three, the Vipers are going to do a little bit of a play fake here. Wallace is going to throw left side looking for, I believe that was Smith that was that, but it does get knocked away. Third and three, and the Vipers are going to pick it up, giving it to Cadillac Williams. We also get an update on Tatum Bell. He will be back in the game shortly. Williams up the middle on that play, though, picks up the first down. Seneca looking to throw, and once again, losing a lot of yards on a sack there. He's got to do a better job avoiding those. Second and 22 now. Walsh is going to throw off his back foot, and it's going to be intercepted by Green. It looked like Arizona was going to send the pressure, and that freaked out Seneca Walsh. He just wanted to not get sacked, but instead he does something worse and is picked off. Brady is back into the game, and he connects there with a big play. Now throwing to the left side. He's got Richardson who makes the catch on the left side. Picks up the first down. And Brady is down again. Grabbing at his head this time. So once again, Daryl Wyatt's going to have to play quarterback. Wyatt looking to throw the football. And he's going to get smacked there. Empty backfield on second down. Wyatt looking to throw. And he's going to be sacked. And Trell Wilson getting his second sack of the game. Man, he has been such a good player for us. He was a second round pick. And he has developed so well in his third year now. Third and long for Arizona. Wyatt looking to throw. And he's almost intercepted over the middle. Not really. I mean, that was just a really beautiful throw to get it right over the linebacker. But they are going to be shy of the first down marker. They're going to bring out Koch for this field goal attempt. It is up. And it is barely good on the left side there. So we're all knotted up at 10 apiece. They're going to be kicking this one off to Dante Hall, who's just inside of his own end zone here. He's going to bounce this one out to the right side across the 30-yard line, the 40, down the right sideline, and he's going to be tackled at the 45-yard line. First and 10 for Albuquerque. We're looking to throw. Wallace moving to his right. He's going to dump it off to his fullback, Ron White, for the first down. And we can get an update on Tom Brady. It is not good for Arizona. A severe concussion is going to lead to him being out for the rest of the season. That means three of the NFC's best quarterbacks are not even going to be here for the postseason. Of course, Orlando Cross, he got hurt in the preseason. And then Brock Flowers, he got injured a couple weeks ago, out for the year. And now Tom Brady's going to be out for the season. Season. There's Williams running to the left side. He's going to pick up three yards. The Vipers are now faced with a third down, and Wallace goes down, but at least he didn't lose 15 yards this time. It is going to be fourth down and 14. We are in range for John Hall, though. He already hit one from 51 yards. This one's from 53, and he's going to stay perfect on the season. Five wide for Arizona as they're going to try to do a little bit of a two-minute drill, but that is not going to work as we send in the cornerback blitz. That's going to bring him down, and they're just going to say, you know what, let's not try a two-minute drill. Let's be content just down by three at halftime. The Cardinals get the football now to start off the third quarter. Jones to the left side. He's going to pick up about four yards, but there was a penalty on the play as Eugene Thomas was offsides, and that's going to make it first and five. Wyatt looking to throw the football, going to the left side there. A nice catch made by Richardson as he was able to stay in bounds. Single back here. They're going to give it to him on the draw play to the right side. He got away from a couple of defenders and picks up five yards there. Second down and five. Now a little bit of offset. Offset eye formation as Julius Jones takes it up the gut and picks up the first down. Daryl Wyatt looking to throw the football, going to the left side. Good job by Pete Hunter breaking that up. Second and 10, 
Wyatt looking to throw yet again, and he's going to connect with Dion Branch, who had to go down low to get that one. Now running out of the I formation, this is a toss for Julius Jones, but it's played very well there as he's held to no gain on the play. Second down, now Wyatt's going to fire this one to the right side, and it's going to be knocked away. They're going to spread things out on third and ten as Wyatt looks to throw, fires to the left side. He's got Richardson, and that is going to convert the third down. Here's Julius Jones, now a wide open running lane right up the middle, spinning off of defenders. That's going to set up first and goal from the six. Jones to the right side, he's going to get brought down and lose about two or three yards there. Second and goal, they're going to give it to Jones again, and he's in the end zone for his second touchdown of the game, giving Arizona their first lead today. Now Albuquerque's coming out in the I formation to start off this drive. Cadillac goes up the middle and picks up eight yards. Second and two, now we're going to give the football to Bell right up the middle, first down yardage and more. Looking to run again. Nope, it's actually a play fake here. And we're going to connect with Charles Phillips, who's going to get all the way out into Cardinals territory down at the 35. Williams to the right side picks up about four or five yards on the play. On second down, we're looking to run the football again. And Tatum Bell's going to be just shy of the sticks. Third and one, we're going to give it to Ron White. And the rookie fullback is going to move the chains. Phil Van Dyke getting his first carry since the first drive. And he's going to pick up three yards. Now Wallace looks to throw, and that pass is going to be knocked away at the line of scrimmage. Albuquerque now faced with a third down. We're going to connect with the rookie Ward, but he's going to be about a yard shy of the first down. First play of the fourth quarter. We're going to go for it on fourth and inches. Cadillac Williams is going to pick it up and more down at about the six. First and goal. Now Vipers trying to punch this one into the end zone. Wallace trying to direct traffic and he's going to connect with Alex Smith. That's going to be a touchdown for the Albuquerque Vipers. Giving them this lead right back now. A great throw and catch there. Uh, you know, there was no pressure on Seneca Wallace at all on that play. And we get into the end zone. So now the Vipers lead by three. Can Daryl Wyatt lead this team on a scoring drive? He's going to throw and he's going to be intercepted. Tommy Pauly coming up with the pick. Both him and Taylor were right there ready for the football. Pauly is going to pick it off though. And the Vipers have pretty good field position now. We're going to take a shot on first down because, you know, it's the unwritten rule. You take a shot after getting a turnover, but it was not even close to Fitzgerald. Albuquerque is now facing third and long. Wallace is moving to his left, trying to direct traffic yet again, looking for Phillips. But this time the Cardinals are able to stop it, and the Vipers are going to go three and out. So now they have another chance to go downfield and tie this game, or possibly even take the lead. Four minutes left to play. Second and five, Jones goes right up the middle, breaking a couple tackles, and he's going to pick up a nice gain there. That's going to put him over 100 yards on the game on just 12 attempts. He's having a heck of a day today. Wyatt looking to throw now, pump faking, and he's barely able to get rid of that one. Second and 10, here's another draw here for Edron James, not Edron James. Uh, he is wearing 32 like Edron James did for Arizona, but he is no longer there, as Jones is obviously playing running back here. That pass is going to be incomplete. They're going to run the football. Now here's Scott Donaldson, who used to be this team's feature back, and he's going to pick up two yards. Throwing to the left side now, and he's got Wentley on the left side, picking up the first down. The rookie making a nice catch there. That first down pass is going to be knocked away. Wyatt looking to throw, but he's going to be sacked as Albuquerque got to him there with Simeon Rice, the veteran, getting what I think is his first sack of the season. If it's not his first, it might be his second. There's a penalty for a false start. That's on Lear, who used to be our left guard. He signed with Arizona in the most recent offseason, so helping us out there. And then on third down, they cannot get it. It's fourth and 20 from the 43-yard line, so it's too far for a field goal. You don't really want to go for that because you'd give us really good field position. So Arizona's going to punt and hope that their defense can get a stop. Less than two minutes left to go now. Tatum Bell to the right side doesn't pick up much. Arizona's going to burn their second timeout of the half. Here's Williams now breaking this one out to the right side. He's going to pick up the first down. And that is going to do it for this game now. We're in victory formation, taking the knee. And we're going to take control of this division now, winning 20-17. to 17. 
The Vipers are on a little bit of a roll now. We were 1-2 and two at one point. We are now 5-2 and two as we've won our last few games. Here we have a big victory against the Cardinals. You know what? I feel like we probably would have lost this game if Tom Brady had played the whole way. We got, I don't know, lucky I guess that he got hurt. Not that I wanted them to get hurt. But uh, Wallace did not play great. Just a 47% completion percentage. He did have a couple of passing touchdowns though. Cadillac Williams had 79 yards and averaged 5.6 yards per carry, so that's pretty solid. Receiving was pretty spread out, but again, we weren't really doing a whole lot of passing. Fitzgerald and Smith each had a touchdown, 45 yards for Fitz, and then 48 yards there for Charles Phillips. A lot of that came on that screen pass there. And then looking at the defense, our two DBs led us in tackles, which is not always great to see. We did have four tackles for loss, two sacks for Wilson, one for Rice, and one for Jared Knight. And then also looking at the interceptions, Tommy Pauly got himself one. Looking at some other action this week, we had America's Game of the Week, and boy did it turn out to be one, as New England had a fourth quarter comeback here with Peyton Manning, three touchdowns for him. They are able to get the one-point victory over the Philadelphia Eagles, over 100 yards for Lawrence Maroney, and then Clayton, he had himself 10 receptions on the day for the Patriots. Miami, they really got destroyed today by Dallas losing 38-3, four passing touchdowns for backup quarterback Chris Hill as Vince Young looks like he had to exit the game early due to an injury, and he even had a touchdown. Uh, Miami, they just seem to be really bad this season. John Wade also had a heck of a game, 10 catches over 130 yards and three receiving touchdowns. Indianapolis is going to get a big division win here as they beat the Texans 22-19. Uh, even though the quarterback threw three interceptions, he also had those three touchdowns, two of them going to Reggie Wayne, who had over 100 yards. Another great game here as Oakland gets the three-point victory over Buffalo in a shootout here. Byron Liftwich, three touchdowns and three interceptions. Mashup, two touchdowns and two interceptions. Both these teams are surprisingly good, the Bills and the Raiders here. Uh, the Bills had two 100-yard receivers but were still unable to get the victory. And then finally, Drew Brees' attempted revenge game against the Saints goes horribly wrong as the Saints win 33-6, a touchdown and a pick for Hasselbeck. And Brees, no interceptions, but under 50% completion percentage. Back-to-back 200-yard -back rushing games for Reggie Bush, one of the best running backs in the league there as they really just destroy Jacksonville. That's going to wrap up this video now. Thank you all for watching. And until next time, this has been Jeffrey reminding you to stay moist.